guys, welcome back to my channel. For today, I have this look here. It's a sunset inspired makeup look. Today's recreation shout out goes to you, Aria Bakharia. I'm really sorry, the name will be in the screen. Go check her out. I love your recreation. And if you guys recreate one of my looks, then make sure to tag me on Instagram so that I can give you a shout out in my video. So if you guys want to see how I created this look here, then keep on watching. So I already did one eye so that I could see which colors to pick. So I went in with this palette here and that's from Be Perfect, the Carnival palette in collaboration with Stacey Mari. Mary. As you can see, the shadows are super pigmented, super vibrant, and this is how the palette looks like. This video is not sponsored whatsoever. I don't have to talk about this palette. They don't even know that I'm using it in this video, but I really want to tell you guys that you guys need this palette. If you are into colorful colors, it also has like the a few neutral colors but most of the colors are more colorful but if you're into that i really recommend you guys this palette it's a really really good palette so i'm gonna be starting off with the anastasia eyeshadow primer uh, the first time I used this i didn't really like it but now i actually really love it I do want to get my hands on the P. Louise uh, eyeshadow primer which is going viral kind of viral right now in the makeup world um, have you guys tried it? Let me know. But this one is really nice. This one really reminds me of the Tarte Shape Tape. But what I don't like about it is that it's a little bit dry, so shadows will be less vibrant. Although if you look at this, it's still super vibrant. But with a more sticky base, like a more wet base, the shadows will be even more popping, more vibrant. The first shadow where I went into was this, was this yellow shadow. It's called Keen. So this is going to be my transition shadow. I'm blending that in with a Anastasia A12 brush and I will make sure to put everything in the description box for you guys. So how are you guys doing? What's, a, what's new? I hope you guys are enjoying summer. I do have to say that it got a little bit too hot for me. Like it was 40 degrees here. That's also the reason why I was not filming makeup tutorials because all of these lights are also really warm and it was just so warm. So the makeup would be just disgusting. Like I would be sweating. So I went out swimming. I thought, you know what? I also have to enjoy a little bit of summer. I also have to be human because <laughs> I'm always, always on my computer on this desk or I have like meetings, appointments, clients. And now I was like, okay, it's too hot. You have no choice. You're just going to enjoy the sun. You guys also have to do that. And it gives you a lot of energy to go back to everything. Now I'm going into the color Shuffle with the Sigma E38. I'm going to blend that too in my crease. So I am really excited. I will be going to London in two days. I will be visiting the company um, Amira London and I'm really excited to meet them because I have been, I've been working with them for a long time, but not like it's not only work, we also support each other and everything. So I'm really excited to visit them. I'm really excited to see London. I'm really excited to see them and just to go away for a few days. With that same brush, I'm going into this red color. It's called Lit. And I'm going to do, again, do the same thing. Just darkening up that crease. Wow, these shadows blend so good. So easy. Okay, ah! I have this found. <laughs> okay. I am going into this color here. It's called Guilty. Going in with the Morphe M433 brush. And I'm going to darken that crease even more. And now I'm going to use the eyeshadow primer from Anastasia again to clean up the lid and to create a cut crease. For this, I'm using the Sigma E20 brush. I think I cannot do a cut crease without this brush because it's round. So that makes it just easier. Now I'm going in with the color, with this color again. 
and I'm going to press this on top of this eyeshadow base. I'm going into the Anastasia Rivera palette and I'm going into this gold color and I'm going to just apply that on top of the yellow so that it also has a nice shimmer especially when you take pictures it will be a little bit more out there. Going back into this color here and I'm just going to make sure that these two colors will blend into each other. So now I'm going to use the new Anastasia liquid uh, eyeliner and I've just tried it on this side for the first time and I'm going to give you guys a little review here and that's I really like how it looks but I do not really like the, the applicator. It's a little bit too thick for me. Personally I really like it to be really thin so that I can make a really sharp wing. I'm going to apply Lily Lashes in the style Sydney. Look how big he is right now. Oh, baby. He just woke up. I love that face. I'm going to use this Anastasia hydrating oil. I noticed that I have a lot of many Anastasia products here right now. I noticed that I often do this. I always go for just one brand to create a look. And then for foundation, I am going to use the Anastasia foundation sticks. That's why I also applied the oil underneath it. Normally I would rather go for a primer, but for this, for this stick foundation from Anastasia, I don't like to use this foundation without an oil underneath it. But then with using a oil underneath it, um, it just looks really beautiful. I always get questions when I wear this foundation, what foundation I'm wearing. So. Blending it in with a Beauty Blender sponge. I'm going to apply the Fenty Beauty Concealer. Oh my god, she also came out with a new foundation. I need to get my hands on it. Now I'm not going to contour because I want to keep it simple on the face because the eyes are really, really there. <laughs> So I'm going to just bronze and I'm going to use the Hula Quickie Contour Stick. So I found out that my sweet little cat that is just really curious what I'm doing here right now really likes beauty blenders. He likes to destroy them. And that's just great. Oh. And now I'm going to use the Y10 brush from Morphe to blend this in. So now I'm going to set my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. It is pricey and there are a lot of other powders that are cheaper and that are also really nice. But I do really recommend you guys this powder. So then I'm going to use the Anastasia uh, Blush Trio in the color Desert. So this color here. Using this, this G36 from, ooh, oops, from Morphe. I am going to apply this loose highlighter from Anastasia. She came uh, out with them two months back, I think. And now she came out with two more colors. And this one is in the color Vegas. It's a little bit lighter as the as the So Hollywood. So Hollywood really works for my skin, but it is still a little bit too gold. And this one is one shade lighter. So I think this is going to work really well with my skin. I'm using the Smith 103 brush to apply this. And by the way, this is the best loose highlighter I've tried in my life. And you're gonna see right now why. Do you see that? <gasps> Not again. What is this? What is this? What? 
what is it? Okay. Siri wanted to just listen to some music, I guess. I also like to apply a little bit on my forehead to really glow. He wants to be with me all the time. Also, when I'm cooking or just in the kitchen, like doing the dishes or whatever, he just really, oh, he wants to be with me. Although you wouldn't believe that right now. Okay. For this, I'm using the shader Sigma E46 brush. I have been always using this for highlighting my inner corner. It really presses the powder into the skin. So it will make it more pigmented, more popping. As you can see, it's really bright right now. So it's a really nice brush. I have a coat on Sigma. I always hate saying that. I don't know why, but I don't want to sound like I'm selling or, or that you guys think that um, when I say something nice about a product, that that's just because I'm getting paid off it. And I'm gonna admit, I am barely getting paid by the codes. So the codes don't matter to me, really. I just mentioned them so that you guys can like save some money. I'm going to spray this setting spray from Anastasia, the Dewy Set Spray. And I'm always trying to avoid my eyeshadow when I'm spraying setting spray because that can ruin everything. So watch out with that. I'm going back into the Carnival palette. I am first going into this shadow here. And I'm going to blend that underneath my eyes. And then back in with the color Guilty. And I'm going to blend that more on the outer V. There's also no fallout with this palette. Wow. And then there's one thing that I have been doing lately. I've been drawing my birthmarks back. I used to just cover them up. Actually wanted to get rid of this one. Then a lot of people around me told me, no, this is you. You have to keep it. And now I actually like that I have it. Also have been getting comments that I should not cover this up. I have to like take the foundation off of this place. So what I have been doing, I just apply a little bit of brown eyeshadow. I have been hating it. I remember why um, boys on high school always told me you have like, it sounds really evil. I don't know how people can say that, but okay. They have been saying you have like food on your face or you have like poop on your face. They have been saying that to me. So that's why I hated it. It was actually normal for me. I was used to having this. It was just there, I didn't see it. But then when I went to high school and the boys start telling me these things, I started hating it. And when you're younger, those things have effect on you. But if someone would tell me this right now, I would be just like, what are you talking about? Like, damn, mind your own business. What do you care what's on my face? <laughs> That's just weird. So I'm going to be starting off with the NYX lip pencil in the color spicy and I'm going to just line my lips and then I'm going to apply this liquid lipstick from Anastasia in the color Heathers or Heaters Heaters and that's it for this look I hope you guys like it uh, it turned out a little bit more as that I thought I actually wanted it to be really wearable, but I think if you would just replace this lip for a nude lip, I think this is still wearable for some kind of occasions, like a party or something. So yeah, I hope you guys like this look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!